What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one's going to be pretty quick, but I just wanted to show you guys a concept that you can use to beat, you know, Tampa 2 generally coverages with 91 zone cloud flat defenders on the outsides. 91 zone cloud flats, they just do a great job of covering everything uh, between they'll, they'll sink back and guard the corner routes. And then obviously against cloud flats, you're supposed to hit the flat routes, but then they break so quickly. Even if you throw it to the flats, you usually only get like one or two yards. So a lot of people have a lot of trouble moving the ball against them. And so this concept is going to be fantastic for beating 91 zone cloud flat defenders. Now, this concept I'm using is at a gun bunch corner strike. On the right side of the screen, you can see every single playbook that has gun bunch corner strike. This concept can carry over to other playbooks and formations. You just need a formation that has a nice shallow corner route like you see right there from Keenan Allen. Some corner routes aren't as shallow as you can see right here. Uh, this is from Gun Bunch Mesh. You can see how much deeper that corner route is. You can still throw that, but it's a little bit more sketchy and it just doesn't quite work as well. The sharper the break, the better in my opinion. Um, but you can do this out of any formation that has a corner route like that along with the fact that you need to be able to motion that receiver outside. So you guys to be off the line of scrimmage and you have to be able to snap it, you know, while he's motioning. So what you're going to see here, I'm in nickel normal Tampa 2. Go ahead and show you the concept with the cloud flat on the outside. These are the Seahawks rosters. I have Richard Sherman out there, uh, but they've been altered to where everybody in the secondary has 91 zone. So that is a 91 zone Richard Sherman. And so what you're going to see, motion out Keenan Allen, snap it and throw it as he breaks. And as you can see, the 91 zone cloud flat just gets sucked inside and it allows you a nice outside pass lead towards the sideline, possession catch, and that's literally what you're going to get every single time against 91 zone defenders. So once again, possession catch on the outside, and this is a concept that you've seen a lot of gun bunch users, if you've been watching the Ultimate League, uh, this has become very, very prevalent with, you know, everybody running gun bunch from West Coast usually are the guys that you see running this concept. But as you can see, three times in a row, and you're going to get that every single time against 91 zone cloud flats. Doesn't matter. They can base a line and press, and you're still going to be getting the same exact behavior. Motion out Keenan Allen, snap the ball, and just wait for him to break. Throw it on the break, possession catch, and every single time, it doesn't matter. It could be, you know, a soft squat zone out there. So we'll go ahead, base a line, press. I'll show you guys soft squat. I think soft squat's actually a little bit worse than cloud flat just the way they play it they sink back like really far and then you have even more space as you can see you could probably like rack it against the soft squats but uh, one thing to notice is that i am on the right hash this is a lot easier when it's done to the short side of the field uh, you can get it sometimes on the long side or if you're in like the middle of the hash marks uh, but it's just a little more scarier sometimes they can play it and since it's a throw that you really have to you know throw it right as he's cutting you don't really have time to read whether or not you know, he's going to be open. You just have to trust the throw. And you see guys in Ultimate League try and trust the throw sometimes, and, and it won't be there, and it'll end up being interception. So it's just something uh, to go ahead and keep in mind. I'll go ahead and show you guys right here. I think the one thing I haven't shown you is a soft squat that's not pressed. And so we'll go ahead and show you the soft squat not pressed, but you'll see the same exact thing. Keenan Allen on the motion out. And see how you even have even more room with the soft squat. So soft squat pressed or not pressed, and cloud flat pressed or not pressed all going to be torched to the outside by this concept. All right, so now defensively, I'm gonna show you guys a concept that you can use to defend against this route combo. And there's several ways you can defend against it, but the way I like to do it is you sub in a player with under 91 zone into that cloud flat spot. So in this case, I subbed in Shaquille Griffin on these regs rosters, his zones in the 70s. And so what you're going to see is that that 90 and below zone defender doesn't get sucked in quite like the cloud flat now the 91 zone and so one thing to note is that just subbing him in isn't really enough so what you're going to see 90 and below zone defenders are kind of so bad like you can still throw this route and have a possession catch right there Keenan Allen dropped it so he plays it a lot better right but you can still throw that route like offensively that's still something uh, that you will be able to throw if you go ahead snap the ball throw see how he, he sinks back so far so that's the 90 and below zone it's just kind of bad so what i like to do is baseline press and i actually like to go with a soft squat so i talked about how soft squats were awful with 91 zone against this concept but with the 90 and below zone i just think the soft squat plays it a little bit better you want him to press up on the line of scrimmage in my opinion because you want him to be as low as possible and you don't want him to sink back so far that they can throw that corner route in front of them and so what you're going to see here snap the ball 
throw the route and Shaquille Griffin jumps it and that's exactly what you're looking for that 90 and below zone defender won't get sucked in he's gonna go ahead and just like stay in the area and then he'll jump it if he's in good position so that's gonna be it for this video guys as always I hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed the content definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more tips and professional Madden breakdowns going forward as always thank you so much for watching and until next time guys take it easy